Grab that box of Malamars and scrape that linguine off the wall because tonight, the odd couple is coming over for dinner on Garage Movie Reviews. Hello and welcome to Garage Movie Reviews, the show where I review all the movies in my collection right here from my garage because all those movies, they're right over there in boxes. That makes me Levi, the garage movie guy. And today we're talking about a movie that would probably make my top five list of movies to take on a desert island. What that means is this is a movie I can watch over and over and over again and still enjoy it. The movie I'm talking about is the 1968 film adaptation of Neil Simon's Tony Award winning Broadway play, The Odd Couple. Like a lot of kids from the 90s, I saw Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau in Grumpy Old Men. And while it was funny, I felt that the humor relied a little too much on the age of the actors to make the joke. Much to my surprise, I ran into The Odd Couple sometime around high school or college, and I loved it. From the music, to the acting, to the wonderful dialogue written by Neil Simon himself. We are all out of cornflakes, F.U. Took me three hours to figure out that F.U. was Felix Unger. This movie shot right up to my top favorite films of all time, and I still watch it at least once a year, and I always get enjoyment out of it. The plot of The Odd Couple revolves around Felix Unger, played by Jack Lemmon, and Oscar Madison, played by Walter Matthau, who actually won a Tony Award three years earlier when he portrayed the character on Broadway. Recently separated from his wife and kids, Felix is experiencing a little bit of depression, and his friend Oscar offers to let him stay with him until he can pull himself together. Unfortunately, Felix is a little tightly wound to fit into Oscar's freewheeling lifestyle, and both men have trouble with this arrangement. When things finally come to a head, Oscar kicks Felix out, but is he really ready to be on his own? In 1967, Neil Simon sold the TV and movie rights to his play, The Odd Couple, to Paramount Studios. Apparently, when the studio started production on the film, they wanted to bring the Broadway leads into the film. That's Walter Matthau as Oscar and Art Carney as Felix. However, Matthau and Lemon had a proven on-screen chemistry from their previous film, Billy Wilder's The Fortune Cookie. So the studio went with Lemon and Matthau and brought in Gene Sachs to direct. At the time, Gene Sachs was married to B. Arthur, another member of the cast, Herb Edelman, who plays Murray the Policeman. I'm sorry, forgive me, I'll kill myself. Murray! I'm oh, sorry. Ended up playing B. Arthur's on-screen husband over 20 years later when he appeared as Stan Zbornak on the hit 1990s sitcom, The Golden Girls. Dorothy, it's Stan, didn't you recognize me? Of course I recognized you, that's why I slammed the door in your face. <laughs> the theme music for The Odd Couple is catchy and iconic, and it's easy to understand why when you know that it was composed by Neil Hefty, who just a few years earlier had composed the theme song for the Batman TV show. And since I'm a big fan of Disney movies and voice actors, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the appearance of John Fiedler, who is the voice of Piglet. We're making an eight o'clock plane to Florida. Well, I told you that when I sat down. Fiedler first played the timid little Piglet in Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day, which was released in theaters the exact same year as The Odd Couple. And John Fiedler played the part of Piglet until his death in 2005. The voices of the Cuckoo Pigeon Sisters, played by Monica Evans and Carol Shelley. <laughs> We've done spectacular things, but I don't think we want it spread all over the telly, do you, Gwen? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Could you forget it? Showed up in two Disney movies together. First as Abigail and Amelia, the Gabby Geese in The Aristocats, and next as Maid Marian and Lady Cluck in the animated version of Robin Hood. Following the success of the film, Felix and Oscar were brought to television with the help of Gary Marshall. Neil Simon's The Odd Couple ran from 1970 to 1975 and starred Jack Klugman as Oscar and Tony Randall as Felix. More adaptations were to come, and they included a Saturday morning cartoon show in 1975, and in 1982, Gary Marshall brought the show back to live action, this time starring Demon Wilson of Sanford and Son fame as Oscar and the late Ron Glass as Felix, who some of you might know as Shepard Book, from the Firefly TV series and Serenity movie. We even got a sequel in the 90s starring Lemon and Mathau again, but it's really not that great of a film. Most recently, in 2015, The Odd Couple came back to television, this time starring Friends alum Matthew Perry as Oscar and Thomas Lennon as Felix, who some might know better as Dangle from the Comedy Central mockumentary series Reno 911. I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. Oh, and if you're interested in any of these adaptations, please check down below in the description because I'm going to have links to all kinds of videos and I'm even going to put together a playlist especially for you guys. 
Obviously, I love this movie. I said before that it's one of my top favorite films, that I come back to it often, and I'm always surprised that when I do come back to it, I get so much enjoyment out of it. It has a lot to do with the way Neil Simon writes his characters. They're always flawed, but they have a goodness to them that sort of brings them around to doing the right thing. And the dialogue that he writes, I can't say enough about how much I love it. And the way the characters deliver this dialogue, it's just amazing. And there are little touches like at the end of the film, they have a credit sequence, which I feel like we don't get enough of in movies. I always love to see the actor, the character they played, and their face in the same frame. Another reason this film spoke to me all those years ago is because it deals with very serious issues like depression, anxiety, even feelings of suicide, but it doesn't do it in an overly dramatized way. Suppose he tries to kill himself. How is he gonna kill himself in a job? What do you mean how? Razor blades poison anything that's in there. That's a kid's bathroom. The worst they could do in there is brush his teeth to death. And the fact that this movie deals with those feelings by making the audience laugh always made me feel like I had a special connection with it. That being said, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, those things can take over your mind. And if you're having thoughts like this, I urge you to seek help right now. Whether it's speaking to a loved one that you trust or finding a professional, I just wanna remind you that you're not alone. So who should watch this movie? Well, if you enjoyed Grumpy Old Men and you liked the banter between Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, then I think you should check out this movie. You can't really go wrong. And if you've ever been out in public with someone like this, <laughs> or ever had to deal with a roommate that just doesn't get it. <laughs> you dumb ignoramus, that is a ladle. You did not know that's a ladle. Then watch this film. And finally, if you just like classic movies, movies from the 60s and 70s, then I think The Odd Couple might be right up your alley. But as always, I wanna know what you think. Have you seen The Odd Couple or any of its many adaptations? Please comment down below. Let's start a conversation. But until next time, I'm Levi the Garage Movie Guy saying, take your shoes off, will ya? I just mopped in here. But until next time, I'm Levi the Garage. We're gonna do garage things in the garage. It's gonna be nice. I could start a Reno. Mash get a poker player. Okay. The curse of the cat people? Nah. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I restrained my throat.